Hey guys, Eric here from AMZ Engine, and I wanted to bring a really cool series to you. We're gonna be documenting our journey as we design, develop, manufacture, source, and launch our next million dollar product, we hope. Welcome to our launch to a million dollar product. I thought it'd be kind of interesting to document this process as we are at the very early stages of designing, developing, concepting a uh, private level product. My business partner and I, we have three brands that we sell on Amazon. We have a fitness brand, we have an office brand, and we have a beauty brand. And so we're doing about over three million in sales a year, and we wanna launch a new product for our fitness brand. We found a couple of competitor products that we thought were interesting, but have a lot of, um, am I in focus? I don't know. I, I can't, I'm not the best videographer. So we found a couple of competitor products that we thought were interesting, but we have a ton of potential to do a lot better. So as we go through this process, I thought it'd be kind of cool to document all of the steps that we're going to be doing and use this as our own kind of spiritual journey to see, so we can look back and see any mistakes that we made if we don't get to that million dollar mark. And if we do, then it'll be fun to watch this journey play through. We're at the very early stages, we just hired a product development firm. We have a bunch of manufacturers in China. None of them that we work with are able to do what we wanna do with this next product. So we need to go and find new manufacturers. Now, before we do that, we need to design the product. We need to have concept sketches. We need to have material design. We need to have 3D CAD images, CAD drawings, so that when we start pricing out the molds, we know how much this thing's gonna cost. So in order to do that, we hired out a product design firm. I don't know why I'm not in focus. I don't know why. This is on automatic focus and it's not working. So we interviewed three different firms. What we were looking for is obviously quality and experience, price, right? Because we don't have an infinite budget to design this product. I really wish I would stay in focus. Do I have to get closer? There we go. Okay, cool. And speed, right? So we didn't want to take a year to, to get to market. So we interviewed three firms, some with, you know, 25 to 30 years of experience and some development firms, design firms that are much younger. And so we landed on Gemba. What we liked about Gemba is that they've got a design firm here in Austin, so they've got some designers and developers that we can work hand in hand with, and they've got relationships with manufacturers, they actually have a network of manufacturers in China, so that depending on the materials that we land on for this product, we can go directly to their network and start pricing these things out. And so we basically are gonna send out an RFP, and so request for proposal, or I guess a request for budget, an RFP, and we're gonna get those manufacturers to price out the product for us. So far, they've been awesome, right? They told us that they could take the product to market in X amount of months. We've actually been able to shrink that down a little bit by telling them, by being a bit more specific with what we're looking for. And we've really enjoyed working with their team so far. So we have a project manager who's managing all the scheduling and the timeline. We have a designer and um, this is unreal. This is really unreal. Like, what do I do here? Do I okay, take two. Hopefully I stay in focus now. All right, so yeah, so based on those parameters, we got on a kickoff call with Gemba, our project manager, who's managing timelines, schedules, and the designer. And so we sent them the product, and we've already started dissecting and kind of analyzing our competitor and basically figuring out where the faults are, right? So I even have my wife to give input from a female perspective. So we have male and female perspective um, because it's a product that's unisex that can be used by both. Next steps are they're gonna send us over some concept sketches and then from there, we're going to pick one and pick a direction and start running with it. This is phase one of a long process. I asked them obviously about costs, right? So everything from analyzing and kind of ripping apart and breaking apart the existing product, literally sawing it in half. And, uh, and looking at what it's made of and, and how we can cheaply make this thing and invest extra money in other areas that would make sense. And then we also asked them about overall phases, like the timeline, because what's this gonna be? What are the different development phases and how it's gonna be? And so, you know, we were weighing costs, like do we wanna get a actual 3D prototype made or can we just 3D print this, which is, you know, $100 versus cutting the molds, uh, crafting the molds and getting an actual prototype of this product from China, which would be an additional $5,000. So those are the kinds of cost considerations we were putting into. And since this is a new venture for us and we're already spending a ton of money on buying inventory for our other products, you know, Amazon FBA is a cash flow and inventory management game. Right? And if you want to be profitable and you want to grow as a business, you need to know how to manage your cash flow. You need to know how to manage your inventory expectations. You need to roll with seasonality, right? So we've got Q4 coming up. So we obviously have a lot of inventory ready for Q4 and we, we spend a lot of money on that. So um, I'm just going to focus this.
that's where we are. It's going to be a fun process. I work with a lot of sellers to help them get their FBA products off the ground. And most of them are doing slight modifications to existing products and just differentiating enough to make it a little bit better that they can capture market share. And it's working really well for us. And so I actually have another video that goes through a decision analysis tree for how we pick products. In this case, this is a brand new custom product, custom mold. We have some retailers that we're working with. We're going to be showing this to our existing retailer base. And we really hope to drum up you know, audience excitement, even leading up to the launch of this product. And so this video series is going to document that journey. I apologize for not being a great videographer, but I am excited if, if anybody's watching this video. So thanks so much and stay tuned for the next phase when uh, I go through what our next steps are in terms of after we got our concepts. And of course, if you found this video interesting or you like what I have to say, please comment or upvote the video and subscribe to the channel. And so we'll be bringing more videos of interest in this space to you.